Hey everybody, Matt here. So it's July 3rd and today I'm going to take the colony out of this blue flowery hive and put them into a more permanent hive. This one up here. And this hive has the same uh, construction type as the Canadian and the Lorax hive where it's the, the box within a box construction that has the uh, insulation on all five sides of the, the deep brood chamber here. And uh, it's the same size too where it has the uh, 14 of my deep frames will fit in here. They're an uh, inch and a quarter wide frames. Um, I did make some modifications though to design and I thought I'd uh, show you some of those. So my daughter and her friend painted the hive. So on the front it's got some balloons with mountains and a lake. So it'll be called the balloon hive. And on the back it's got this great bright bee and honeycomb picture. So one of the modifications is that now it has two entrances. I put a small half inch entrance at the top here and an inch and a quarter entrance at the bottom here. So not only did I go to a, a round entrance, um, I changed the way that I constructed this. So before I had that four inch long by half inch uh, slit as an entrance. And the way that I would construct that was I would line that hallway with um, four pieces of three quarter inch wood uh, to isolate the, the entrance from the insulation that's in the wall here. But this time what I did was I just put a big chunk of two by four um, in this area and then just drilled the hole straight through uh, the three pieces of wood, which was way faster. But then with, with that, what you could do is also you could just use a multiple of holes. So if you wanted like uh, four half inch holes, you could do that. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was a, a, a better design. And the last thing that I changed was the, the depth of the lid. And the reason I had to do that was because when I added that 3 8 shim to the bottom of the, the Langstroth medium honey supers that I put in there to prevent the bees from profilizing the uh, uh, honey frames down to the, the top of the, the deep frames, when I put that in there, because the old lid was so, the tolerances were so tight, it actually made it so that the lid wouldn't close anymore uh, like it was hitting the the inch and a half insulation that was in the top so in the canadian hive and the lorax hive i had to take that insulation out so that the lid would sit down because bees were able to get up inside here but so what i did on this one was instead of making the lid out of uh, one by eight uh, material which i actually think is seven and a half inches on this dimension I am now making them out of three quarter inch plywood and just making it a, a straight eight inches deep. So uh, that would uh, eliminate that issue. But uh, let's get started. Hmm. Oh. There we go. It's probably going to confuse them a little bit. But once we uh, throw some frames in there, though, they'll uh, be fine. So the first one is this conversion frame and uh, just looking for the queen. Looks all right, got lots of pollen. Oh look, there's the queen right there. First frame. And it was the outside frame too. So uh, I probably had the potential to roll her there. But I'll give you a quick look at her. So here she is, right here. And she seems to be doing good. There's, uh, I see lots of royal jelly on the little larvae, so they're feeding them well. And I see a bunch of eggs. It'll be uh, pretty quick now, because now that we know for sure that the queen is in here. There is a little confusion at the front there, obviously. Wow, look at that. So I am going to put these conversion frames at the back because I do want to get rid of them. But look at, boom, wall to wall. 
I'd say she's doing all right. That side too. And the rest of the frame that doesn't have eggs in it, there's pollen in those, uh, in the cells. Uh, pretty sure it was like this. There we go. It's a good frame. Big honey nectar section at the top there, so they got lots of resources. Actually, I'm gonna swap places. This frame has larger comb on it. So I'm gonna kinda move it for this one, which had a bunch of worker brood on it to the back. There we go. Here's more worker brood. Nice fresh worker brood right there. And they still have a fair amount of space. So I probably won't uh, add another frame yet. They do got two little bottom portions there mm -hmm. they could fill out. Oof, look at that one, boom. All worker brood there. Not a bad front frame, lots of honey there, nectar. I will uh, I will actually put another frame in here just to give them uh, something to work on when all that brood hatches out. Where's my new frame? And this is one of the new frames that I made where I um, I changed the dimensions of the, the little shelves in here before it was uh, three quarter inches wide by a quarter inch and now they're just almost like a little dowel there but still kind of square so you can I don't know they're centered it, it'll I think it's gonna work a little bit better we'll see once they fill one of them fully out with uh, comb so now I just gotta close them together so there we go See if I can uh, dump these on here, which I always have such a good record of doing that. <laughs> that worked quite well. Only got like oof, maybe five or six left. I'll go put this over here. <laughs> Okay, I do got a, a new backboard for them. Well, it's an old backboard, but just to limit the size of their nest. But it doesn't go all the way down to the floor so they can still get access to the back. Squeeze these up a little bit. And I do have a, a new top cloth for them. We'll just put that on there. New house, new top cloth. 